This is a video about wrestling. Wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Whether or not you like it or you don't, it's mostly a video about what wrestling is to me. And it's a video that I've been wanting to do for a minute because I constantly watch wrestling videos on YouTube. I've seen a bunch of great videos on YouTube with different, like, tributes to wrestlers and, you know, just matches, and older matches I've seen throughout my time as being a wrestling fan. And, you know, it's always too many vocal points about, well, oh, wrestling's fake. Why do you watch that fake stuff? I hear that all the time when I'm at work, at home. Some of the people in my house don't even watch wrestling. And they probably did back in the day, but they really don't care too much for the product now. And why am I still watching wrestling now? Well, it's like this. Wrestling is a double blade sword. It can be very immersing or it cannot be. You've had different times in wrestling where wrestling was just flat and you've had times where wrestling was just at its pinnacle, at the top. And wrestling to me right now, yeah, it's hurting, especially in the WWE, running out of ideas, not having creative stories to tell on the TV, not being very original. You know, those things here and there that are really making the WWE unwatchable. But I watch it because it's more of a submersion, a surrealness. If you sit there and take your mind of disbelief and you put it to the next power, you'll like what you see on wrestling. You can look back in the 80s and you can see guys like the Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, Ravishing Rick Rude, Mr. Perfect, Bobby the Brain Heenan, all these guys or characters, however you want to say it, that were what we watched. When I first started watching wrestling at the age of four, I loved watching wrestling, period. Every Saturday night, I would be at my granddad's house, we'd watch Saturday Night Main Event, we'd watch Mid-South, because I live in the South, we used to watch Mid-South Wrestling as well, and it was always the thing to do. I just liked watching wrestling. I remember one Christmas back in the day before I became a Hulkamaniac Brothers, I uh, liked Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. I used to always like, he was really big, he could beat anybody, his finishing move was the, the jumping pile driver, and I just liked everything about Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. And I had an action figure that I got one Christmas, and I was blown away. My brother had Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and I had Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. And it's these little things that, you know, that are things that, of course, you know, were from back in the day. But they're memories, all in well. But what wrestling is missing now? To me, if Stone Cold, uh, I'm sorry, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the 316 thing, never have, would have never had went over. If people were not feeling the Stone Cold Steve Austin character then Stone Cold would have never been a major draw in wrestling for the WWF at the time. If DX would have never been over with the wrestling fans, then DX would have never been over. What I think wrestling had back then, what, what it doesn't have now, is the fact that back then, the companies listened to the fans. They saw that they had a market and they they cashed on it. That's not to say they don't do it now, but the way they do it now is more crooked and twisted and contrived. Because if you look at people that are on top now, and you look at the guys that could be on top, and you say to yourself, well, why is he not in the main event? He gets more cheers than John Cena. People like him more than John Cena. And I'm just using John Cena as, a, as an example. I don't really have too much of disrespect about John Cena it's just that his gimmick has been going on and on for so long that it's kind of worn down and maybe if he was to be turned heel it would be the boom or the shot in the arm that the WWE needs no pun intended but yeah it, it just seems like you know what was over back then you know what I'm saying was something that people could relate to Stone Cold Steve Austin's character a guy who's not taking anything or taking no more shit from his boss who's feeling pretty much just telling him where he can stick it okay 
the rebels, DX, the rebels, the people against the system, NWO. You know, you had that. You know, you had that, that ability to immerse the crowd, to bring a more surreal feel to wrestling back then. And the Attitude Era was really surreal. Wrestlers' gimmicks were no longer related too much to silly silly gimmicks, but more related to more of the actual persona of the person in real life. Steve Williams, or Steve Austin, if you will, drinks beer. He drinks beer on TV. It just was those things that made you want to become a wrestling fan. Now, I know some of the guys I went to school with, they don't watch wrestling anymore. Hell, they could give two buckets of shit about wrestling, but as soon as you sit there and say, hey, you know Stone Cold's going to be, oh, man, I got to watch them and check that out. You know, like I say, I've been a wrestling fan since the mid-80s, and I'm still a wrestling fan now. I still watch the product, and there's always a glimpse of something good that I can see out of wrestling. And... I like what I see in both WWE and TNA, but there's things in both companies that I don't like. But it just lets you know that maybe if you are a person that likes wrestling and you watch it on a regular basis, or if you just watch it every now and then, you know, there's still those things out there that, you know, you can see in wrestling. But to the marks, because remember, we're in an area now where the internet is rampant. Of course, you're going to know what happens on TV before it even comes on TV. Hell, SmackDown is, is taped on Tuesdays, and you get the spoilers on Fridays. I, I really don't watch spoilers. I try to just watch it when it comes on, because I would rather see it on the TV and just be surprised, if anything. It's a surprising or wrestling these days. But yeah, this is my view about wrestling and what it is to me. This is Jugget82, signing off.